Hey, you ever wonder why? I'll tell you why. The why is about why African-Americans are poor, living in inner city, bad housing, no money, economically depressed, um, bad housing, you name it across the board. The why is because of the system in America that oppresses blacks. You know, recently, even in this time, in the last month, uh, Navy Federal Credit Union was denying blacks uh, home loans. Uh, to own a home is the way out of poverty. Education, like education, having a home and being able to have your own land, your own property is a blessing and a blessing. But we've been denied that time and time again. In the beginning, we were denied to even read as slaves, denied to even learn how to read. And then came along, we could, didn't, how, didn't want us to own land. We had businesses, they burned the businesses down. Um, you have many um, examples of that throughout America where uh, um, uh, blacks were prospered and whites came and just burned the business down, killed the people. Who does stuff like that in a, in a civilized society? Uh, when it comes to education, we have segregated schools. I went to a school where we had to wait to get our books from blacks, from, from, the, from the white schools before the blacks, but we had uh, decent books. I, I was born way back in the day, as you can say. So th this is the why that um, white people don't know why we're in the condition that we're in is because of systematic racism throughout America. And uh, it's sad that a country as great as America is, discriminates against its own people, its own citizens. What have we done to destroy this country? What have we done to bring this country down? We built it. We built it on our backs. We built the plantations so that whites could have a place that they can uh, uh, have and uh, raise their families while we were struggling to raise our own and feed our own. So the why is disparity is because economically we're depressed. Uh, we're rising up. Educationally, we're behind because we're just getting up and get going into getting into colleges. And, and even in, when it comes to housing, we had redlining where blacks could not purchase homes in a decent area. And when they could buy, they were burnt out by the Ku Klux Klan. So you can't you can't say why you blacks are like this, why you blacks are that. You have to look at your own history. And your own history tells that you've oppressed people that were human beings. You look at a third world country and say you 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 criticize them, but we need to look at internally how you criticize uh, the black people here in America.